Hi everyone, this is John, and today I'm going to give you a long-term review on the Gearbox CX-14H. I have been playing with this paddle for at least three months, probably closer to four and a half or five months. I can't remember exactly when I got it. And I have been very satisfied with this paddle. So if you don't know about this, this is one of Gearbox's kind of top-end paddles, if you will. Uh, they say it's stable with a soft feel. They use this SST core technology. They have their own way of building the cores in these paddles that are different from the typical um, polypropylene hexagons that you see. This particular model has a 14 millimeter thickness and it has a Torre T700 carbon fiber core with 3k woven carbon fiber uh, ribbed finish and they have their own patented carbon fiber chambers uh, this is their hyper shape thus the H it weighs in at about 18 ounces I have the 3 and 15 16 handle sorry this is kind of grody looking. I know I overwrapped it with white. Um, it's got a decent handle length with five and five eighths inches. I can get two handed backhands with this. It's got an eight inch width. This particular model, this is the model with the grit on it. Earlier there were some that were smooth and it does have a one year warranty and it is US APA approved. So one of the things that I really like about this paddle is the size of the sweet spot. It has a very large sweet spot and the control that I get from this paddle because of the size of that sweet spot has helped me develop my game a little bit better. I reviewed the elongated version of this one a year and a half ago I think and at that time my skill level was very beginner and I really couldn't take advantage of the technology that's in this paddle and I feel like now I'm able to get the spin and the control out of this paddle uh, that is expected. I think overall you would consider this a balanced paddle. It's not going to be this giant power paddle that you're just going to blast balls back at people with and it's not so soft that um, you feel like you're you know playing with a slice of bread, so to speak. I have really enjoyed using this paddle. It is one of, it's durable and it plays well. And I haven't really felt personally any kind of degradation in the play of this paddle. And I play about three times a week. And usually I play anywhere between uh, six and 10 games every time I go out and play. And I haven't felt like there's been any degradation to this paddle at all. Um, I've clashed paddles with people. I've scraped it across the ground. And the thing is just, it's a tank. And it really just keeps on going. There are two things that I would say are cons for this paddle. The first is the price. This is a $200 paddle. So for the average recreational player, who's just looking to move up from that Amazon paddle that they got for $30 to $50, this is going to seem like a huge jump when they're moving up uh, to another paddle. The other thing is, is if you're looking for a paddle where you're going to get a lot of power out of it, this isn't going to be the paddle for you. Gearbox does have a new power line that they've come out with, and I think that's in response to people's reaction to this paddle because this just doesn't have the power and the pop that a lot of other paddles do that are out on the market right now. But again, I think the durability of this paddle, how balanced the paddle is, and how well it plays overall outweighs uh, that, that power factor. So that's the Gearbox CX-14. If you're looking for one of these, uh, I'd appreciate it. There's a link in the description below if you click on that and buy it through there. It's an Amazon link and I'll get um, an affiliate payment from that. So 
uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I'm John Eugenics Grandpa, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.